Who would win in a fight between a Kangal and a spotted hyena? Turkish Kangal, one of the strongest livestock guardian dog breeds, going up against one of Africa's top apex predators, the spotted hyena. Let's see what both will bring to the fight. I will compare a male Turkish Kangal with a female spotted hyena, as both are more powerful and larger than their female and male counterparts. Size and Description The Kangal is a very large dog with heavy muscling, though without the coarseness of a mastiff breed. The neck is thick and strong, and may have a slight dewlap, redundant skin that allows the dog an advantage in battle by preventing it being immobilized. The back is well muscled but not excessively broad, sloping to the croup and the base of the tail, which usually hangs low and is held in a curl. Males stand an impressive 3.4 to 3.7 feet, 74 to 81 centimeters, tall at the withers, while females range from 2.3 to 2.6 feet, 71 to 79 centimeters. Though the breed standard does not specify an ideal weight, males generally weigh approximately 136 to 176 pounds, 62 to 80 kilograms, and females 110 to 154 pounds, 50 to 70 kilograms. The spotted hyena is the largest species, and it grows to 4 to 5.9 feet long, 1.2 to 1.8 meters, and 2.5 to 2.6 feet tall, 77 to 81 centimeters, from paw to shoulder. They weigh 88 to 190 pounds, 40 to 86 kilograms. Unlike other species, spotted females are 10% heavier than males. The spotted hyena's coat is sandy, yellowish or gray. It has dark brown or black spots over most of the body. Spotted hyenas are strongly built, with a massive neck and large head topped by rounded ears, unlike the other hyenas. The jaws are probably the strongest in relation to the size of any mammal. The front legs are longer than the hind legs, which gives the back of the spotted hyena a slightly odd downward slope. Distribution and Habitat The Turkish people claim the Kangal dog is an ancient flock-guarding breed, thought to be related to the early mastiff-type dog depicted in Assyrian art. The breed is named for the Kangal district of Sivas province in central Turkey, where it probably originated. Despite its regional origin, many Turks consider the Kangal dog as their national dog. The Nelsons imported their first Kangal dog to the United States in 1985. This dog, and subsequent imports, provided the foundation for the Kangal dog in the United States. Spotted hyenas live in Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. They are able to survive in savannas and swamps, as well as semi-arid regions, and even mountainous forest areas. Rather than resting in dens, adult spotted hyenas sleep in holes or shallow pools, or under bushes or scrubs, anywhere they can find shade during the heat of the day. Hyenas use watering holes as places to cool off or to hide extra food. Spotted hyenas can be active both day and night, depending on their needs and whether there are humans around, but they are generally nocturnal. Diet Historically, these civis kangals would eat scraps from villages, including water, goat's milk, yogurt, and bread. This guardian's historical diet probably isn't nutritionally complete, as it lacks protein in high amounts, so you should look towards a high-quality kibble. Feel free to add raw meat occasionally. Kangal dogs are very large, and they bring very large appetites to match. 
A Kangal of either gender needs 3,000 calories per day to enjoy a healthy, happy, and active lifestyle. For simplicity and ease of care, the majority of these dogs are fed with a high-quality kibble, especially formulated for large breed and active dogs. Lions and hyenas compete over the same food in overlapping territories. Sometimes the hyenas do the work of organizing, chasing down, and killing prey, only to have lions steal it. Lions often injure or kill hyenas as they fight over a carcass. The bigger the hyena clan, the larger its prey. This can include young rhinos, adult wildebeest, zebras, and cape buffalo. The hyenas work in a group when hunting such large prey, and young hyenas take years to become successful. Smaller packs chase down gazelles, impalas, warthogs, and waterbucks. When hunting alone, a spotted hyena may go after smaller prey. Behavior The Kangal dog is not necessarily a typical livestock guardian dog, in that he is more people-oriented. He is still alert and territorial, taking care of his family and home. He will become very bonded to his human family, and that does make it difficult to rehome an adult Kangal dog. He is usually very good with children, but can become very defensive towards non-family members. Early socialization and training is important to ensure he is able to become a well-adjusted member of the household. Because he is so territorial, if he is not contained within a secure fence, he can become very aggressive to other domesticated animals and other people. The Kangal dog does require continual training. It is usually best to incorporate his training into his exercise program. In terms of their social intelligence, spotted hyenas are considered to be close to the same level as certain primates. They have excellent night vision, being mostly nocturnal, hunting at night and sleeping or staying near their den in the daytime. They have a matriarchal social order of related individuals that are called clans. One alpha female leads the clan. These animals mark their territory by scratching the ground and with an oily substance that they secrete from their anal glands. Spotted hyenas have a large vocal range and communicate with clan members with whoops, yells, grunts, growls, and giggles. The giggling sounds like manic laughter Hence their other name. Now, let's see, who would win in a fight between a Kangal and a spotted hyena? Even if their dimensions are close, the spotted hyena is actually more powerful than any canine, including the Turkish Kangal. They are also more durable, as spotted hyenas have been able to survive direct bites to the neck by lions but they also have double the bite pressure, which can crush bone. And spotted hyenas are actually better fighters and killers. The Kangal has gained a foothold in Africa, where farmers suffering losses because of predators by lions and other big cats have seen remarkable success in employing the Kangal to tackle these fearsome predators. But they deter the animals and almost never actually engage in a fight, so mostly they use intimidation. Spotted hyenas have been fighting and killing since they were born, and if the hyena gets in one bite to the dog's neck, it's over. The Turkish Kangal won't kill the hyena with a suffocation bite, because if these animals can survive direct bites to the neck by lions and from other spotted hyenas, then it can survive a Turkish Kangal suffocation bite but the dog most likely wouldn't go for such a tactic, and will most likely try to duke it out while the more powerful spotted hyena go for the kill right from the start. So, to sum it up, the Kangal will lose the fight because of its lack of fighting experience, and its bite will not do much to the hyena, as it has dealt with much more powerful bites. And because the hyena only has to bite the dog one time in the neck, 
which will end the fight immediately, and with the dog having a crushed jugular from the sheer bone-crushing pressure of such powerful jaws. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.